it's up in a bun again. <laughs> it was in a ponytail, but it's a little tangly. And I need to make lunch. But Sebastian and I just walked to the drugstore and a coffee shop. He did so great, no stroller. It was kind of annoying not having a stroller to put things in, but he's gotta practice because soon he'll just be too big to ride in them. And I do like to walk for miles and miles, so I'll have to figure that one out. But as we were coming down our street here, there was a robin fledgling on the ground, so cute. But he instantly started to hop into the street. And we're like, oh no, 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 Beardy, don't go into the street. He just kept hopping and then a car was coming. It was looking really bad. So bad that I covered Sebastian's eyes with my hand. He was about to start crying. I'm telling everybody about the baby birdie. It was so close, like an inch away from the wheel. The baby bird like screamed and I saw a parent bird like swoop by. <sighs> he didn't die, he didn't get hit, but he continued to be in the street so i put sebastian on the the grass and i started walking through going like this excuse this massive mess here <laughs> that is all sebastian i was like go 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 birdie go go to the grass go to the grass and the parents were like swooping around me squawking and flapping because they were so mad they were doing their job that's what the parents are supposed to do but we got him to the other side up onto the grass again hopefully he stayed there. Oh, why are you picking your nose? Did you clean your hands? <laughs> well, you have to now for sure. Anyway, baby bird made it. It was a little scary, but I just heated up leftover tofu. So we're gonna have some lunch because two o'clock is when I like to have lunch. And then we're gonna do quiet time. Mm -hmm. Somebody's in pajamas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I didn't change. Good evening everyone. Welcome to bedtime. It is about 9.30, just slightly short of it. And we are getting ready for bed. I just helped Sebastian brush his hair and his floss and brush his teeth. He took his medicine. I have not seen Jax up here yet. He just had dessert. <laughs> like why? It's so late. Uh, I don't know if he's playing Halo with his brother or if he's coming up, but Technically, it's his bedtime now, so maybe they'll be doing books, maybe not. You come up in two minutes. Okie dokie, so do something for two minutes that doesn't make a mess. Anyway, I'll start with last night. I did braid, and I only have 12 braids to go, so we'll see if we finish. I had to pull out some old leftover mixed hair from... Hmm, I don't know, it was probably a year ago that I did like a pale bluish, pale periwinkle and then I had rainbow on the underside. I don't think I'm gonna have enough of the white and gray, so I have that mixed in and I'll try to avoid using the blue because I have a weird blue patch. Babe, I'm in the middle of talking, don't walk backwards, you're gonna trip. Go do something for two minutes. Go do something for two minutes. Well, I love you. 
So I'm gonna try to avoid the blue if I can, but I don't know if I have enough to avoid it. So I'll maybe spread it out as much as I can. But yeah, then I'll be done and I'll keep this in. I do have two months until we go on our trip and I was planning to do the turquoise for our trip. So I need to look at what I have to see. It might be like one of those months, transition months where I don't fully change it. I just pull out something that kind of coordinates with what I already have and change part of it just to keep it looking neat until I do a full redo of turquoise. But we did take a walk after breakfast and we walked to Walgreens and I got some purple shampoo. I was gonna get purple conditioner and I thought I had grabbed it because I saw a row of this, a row of the real brand name purple condition, purple shampoo, and then a row, another row, and I thought it said conditioner, but it, and I grabbed one from the back, not the front, so this is either in the wrong place or just totally misread that, I don't know. But that's what I have and I paid $10 for it, so it's gonna be used. I don't normally shampoo my hair, and it has all sorts of sulfates and stuff in it that, that I don't want on my natural hair, so I'm just gonna put it on my conditioner and not not froth it up. Where's your brush? No, uh, It's on the counter behind my straightener. The Straightener, the black thing. This this is a straightener and this is my brush. Oh, <laughs> it's so hard. Yeah, I mean, that's. I don't really have anywhere for it. Hopefully when we get a new bathroom, I'll have better st storage. I have hiccups. <clears throat> so yeah, we did that little walk. Then I came home and it was already lunchtime. I wasn't that hungry, but I made myself eat because the day was going by so fast. I tossed my leftover tofu into a pan with some frozen peas and cooked that up. Had that and some blue corn chips. And then we went up to quiet time. What do you want to say? But all I had for one cake is some seaweed. Yeah, I was surprised you weren't more hungry. Is that why you're so hungry for dinner? We just fixed some seaweed. <laughs> What did I say fix? I read an article about people saying fixed lunch and I never say that, but now I'm saying fixed. I, we fixed some lunch. Was it broken? <laughs> uh, that's funny. Anyway, we got up and went down and it was dinner time. And of course, everybody's like looking at me as the person who got the groceries, what's for dinner? And I'm like, well, I didn't really get much dinner food because nobody tells me what they want. I have stuff for soup, I have stuff for pasta. Nobody else can agree on anything else. I torture them tor once every other week with stir fry, but I feel like nobody really loves it. Yeah. And of course I get that, well, how did you spell it hundred dollars? I'm like, cause there's other meals <laughs> and everybody eats on those other meals, not just dinner. Plus I get all our toiletries that I can. Sometimes I have to run to the drugstore for one random thing, but yeah. It adds up, and that's going to through Walmart. If we got all those basics for like breakfast, lunch, and snacks from like Wegmans or to Giant, it would be almost <coughs> double. So yeah, I ended up cooking spaghetti for everybody, and they ate it. And then I, you're kind of being obnoxious. <laughs> it's kind of rude when I'm doing something, and it's been way more than two minutes. What's he doing? I went downstairs and I started cutting some more fabric. I haven't wanted to start sewing just yet, but my black thread arrived today and I was completely and totally out of black thread after making that t-shirt quilt. So I can start sewing some of the ones that are dark, but I really, really love the red rose fabric I got. I'm probably gonna end up making two masks for myself out of that. It's so pretty. I find myself mostly just wearing my black and my white masks and then my gray ones. So I'm definitely gonna make a bunch with the blacks that I got. This, I like like black on black and white on white and stuff. But I think the roses are gonna be really nice when I'm wearing my boots. 
so definitely gonna want more than one for the fall let me know are you wearing masks when you're out i know everywhere has different rules and everybody has different comfort levels for me regardless of the rules my comfort level is i wear a mask if i am outside walking and i'm nowhere near anybody i don't wear it if i'm just passing somebody really quickly i don't wear it if we stop at a playground i wear it if there's people if we go in somewhere we 100 percent well you don't have a vaccine so technically the rules for the past few months have been if you're not vaccinated you wear a mask around people but yeah they're not near you long enough but now the cdc for america says center for disease control says that if you were in an area with substantial or high spread and we are in a substantial area at the moment that everybody I, should mask indoors so i was already doing that still yeah so technically we should the governor strongly suggested he recommended that everybody wear masks but he said this is not a requirement so zero has changed i only see a few people with masks when we go into places so don't know if that's going to change let me know what you do what the mandates in your area are if there are any and what your personal choices i'm very curious no judgment at all everybody has different comfort levels but that's the only way i can function <laughs> yeah but anyway that's it there was a lot going on oh but i did get told at dinner time that they're gonna fix our dishwasher tomorrow morning oh, i seriously was expecting this to go on forever i just splurged on a nice dish soap that come di dish soap that comes with like a pump sprayer because i'm getting annoyed like waiting for the last dregs of the soap to drip out onto the pan so i gotta spray one <laughs> to try and speed up my process and i'm gonna have a dishwasher tomorrow so <laughs> i won't be going through water and dish soap like it's going out of style White. But that's great. I, I'll take the dishwasher. <laughs> if but maybe I jinx myself. That. The new soap, yeah. I'll still use it, but I don't know. Wait, well you got that you got the dishwasher. The dishwasher's gonna get fixed, yeah. So I'll have to see. Maybe I will take them out for breakfast if they're gonna be in the way. Because <clears throat> they are gonna come right around the earliest of the part of the window is right when we normally have breakfast. So I'll have to see. I don't know, this, this week's been pretty cool and not really good pool weather, but I think it's gonna get warmer and warmer as the day go, the week goes on. I think Thursday is looking like the best day for the pool. So we will wait and see. Yeah, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. So we'll see them tomorrow. Anything else yeah. you wanna to say to our friends? Don't forget walking. Okay, well, let's say everything. Anyway, thank you for watching the video and making it this far. My name is Stephanie, and that's Sebastian. We make a video every single day. We hope that you are staying safe, being kind, and don't forget walk your hands. Wash your hands.